Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And we're outside Rossi's Flea Market here in North for sales, hoping to find some epic figure scores. And given we're here early, they should have some epic scores here at 9 o'clock. So I'm hoping to come out with some vintage scores. And we're about to head in. Hopefully they have some good stuff for me today. And this will be the last video I shoot outside this location before I head on in. Because I'm going to be carrying a lot of stuff. It's going to be hard for me to record on the inside. So you'll probably see what I have when I come out. Second and final destination. This is the Lincoln Way Hub Antique Mall. So here's hoping we find some vintage scores. And hopefully it's rocking. And you'll see everything I got when I get home. And it's going to be an awesome toy haul adventure. And no, this is not a review. This is my entire toy haul after two locations here in Pennsylvania. Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, the autistic toy collector. And I have this entire haul from both Rossi's Flea Market. Stuff I got on my birthday and stuff I picked up along the way. And this is such a haul. There's so much here. It's probably one of my biggest toy hauls you've ever seen. Because there's a lot of figures here. We got Transformers. We got G.I. Joe. We got Halo. We got Dragon Ball. We got Kenner Star Wars. We got Ninja Turtles. And we got a He-Man figure, which is nice. We got a bootleg Transformer. A G1 Transformer. And a Beast Wars figure. And so many good figures on this table. I'm going to show off everything I got. Because it's been a minute. We're going to look at everything I got. And as I put it away, you're going to see everything I got. First on the list, we got this Beast Wars 1990s. Silver Bolt. And yes, I love Beast Wars. And I'm picking up more of this. This is Here in North for sales, hoping to find some epic figure scores. And given we're here early, they should have some epic scores here at 9 o'clock. So I'm hoping to come out with some vintage scores. And we're about to head in. Hopefully they have some good stuff for me today. And this will be the last video I shoot outside this location before I head on in. Because I'm going to be carrying a lot of stuff. It's going to be hard for me to record on the inside. So you'll probably see what I have when I come out. Second and final destination. This is the Lincoln Way Hub Antique Mall. So here's hoping we find some vintage scores. And hopefully it's rocking. And you'll see everything I got when I get home. And it's going to be an awesome toy haul adventure. And no, this is not a review. This is my entire toy haul after two locations here in Pennsylvania. Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, the autistic toy collector. And I have this entire haul from both Rossi's Flea Market. Stuff I got on my birthday and stuff I picked up along the way. And this is such a haul. There's so much here. It's probably one of my biggest toy hauls you've ever seen. Because there's a lot of figures here. We got Transformers. We got G.I. Joe. We got Halo. We got Dragon Ball. We got Kenner Star Wars. We got Ninja Turtles. And we got a He-Man figure, which is nice. We got a bootleg Transformer. A G1 Transformer. And a Beast Wars figure. And so many good figures on this table. I'm going to show off everything I got, because it's been a minute. We're going to look at everything I got. And as I put it away, you're going to see everything I got. First on the list, we got this Beast Wars 1990s Silver Bolt. And yes, I love Beast Wars, and I'm picking up more of this. This is, this my, is my third 1990s Beast Wars, and I love Silver Bolt. He's so noble. Yeah, so he's going in the bin to be reviewed for sure. Gonna load him in there. Why not? Next on the list, we got, of course, Titan's Return Cup. 
I finally got him in my collection. He's got his blasters and go pew, pew, bang, bang. And his headmaster. So this is my second cup. I will review him with the 86 line, somewhere down the line. So I will review him somewhere down the line. It might be this month, and it's been forever since I reviewed a Titan's Return item. Next on the list, we got another Titan's Return. It's Mind Wipe. Yes, I finally have Mind Wipe for my Headmaster Decepticons. I've got, you know, I mean, what's his name? Um, cr not Croc Out. His name is very familiar. Skull Cruncher. That's it. I had to think a little bit more. So now I got Skull Cruncher and Mind Wipe. Now I need Wolf Wire to complete my Titans Return to Headmaster Decepticons. And I'll need Scorponok. Other than that, it's a good looking line for the day. Next, we got Age of Extinction Hound, man. And this is the battle action one. It doesn't have any articulation, but he's got a big gun like he did in the movie and ready to shoot some lead at some Decepticons. That'll be something to review down the line as well. Next, we got good old one of the Terracons from Abominus. I forget this guy's name. If any of you know his name, then please tell me. I got him for five bucks at Rossi's Flea Market, so I can't beat that. So we're going to go put him in the bin to be reviewed. We've got one bin filled up right now. We've got another one to go fill up. Close up. Next on the list, we got Transformers Prime Megatron. Yes, I love Megatron. He is awesome. He is terrifying. I will review him once I pick up his fusion cannon, and he'll be worth reviewing. For sure. Next on the list, we got Transformers Prime Megatron. Yes, I love Megatron. He is awesome. He is terrifying. I will review him once I pick up his fusion cannon, and he'll be worth reviewing. For sure. <laughs> Next on the list, we got G.I. Joe Sigma-6 Duke. And I love some G.I. Joe Sigma-6, and I'm so glad to have my very first in my collection. And I'm going to be on the hunt for more of these vintage G.I. Joe 2000 Sigma-6 action figures. I'll probably review that with the other G.I. Joe figure I, I got. This is a 1980s G.I. Joe. If any of you know his name or... Bert, if you're watching, you know his name, then please leave me a comment. I don't know who this Joe is. So thank you very much if you are watching. Next, we got a 1980s He-Man figure. Mine is really loose. So this will be reviewed with some random figures for sure. Next on the list, we got Samurai U Udasaki from the 2003 Samurai line, or the 1980s Samurai line, from the Samurai movie, Turtle movies. I think this is from the same line. You know, if any of you leave know. me a comment. Next on the list, we got the Dark Knight Batman. Do -do -do -do. <sighs> Sorry about that, no singing. I really gotta work on not singing. I really have a problem with that but yeah it's batman i am the knight i am batman and of course we got a mighty morphin power ranger this is a movie figure and it's flip and change and there you got got the red ranger ready to do battle hiya then he flips and auto morphs into the Red Ranger, ready for battle. Let's, we need dinosaur power now. That'll go with the random figures to review for certain. Next, I finally found the Holy Grail I've been wanting for so long. It's 2003 Shredder. And I'm so happy to own my favorite Shredder. Because he is like this in the 2003. 
to the turtles. None of you will leave here alive. And I do a really great impression of him. He is just awesome. Next, we got this dinosaur figure I found for free. So I did get a freebie this month as well. Didn't As freebie, I mean someone threw it away in great shape. Next, we got a little dragon ready to breathe that fire breath. Go. I got this from Kennywood for 25 tickets. Can't beat that. Going with the random stuff. We got some firefighter figures. I've gotten quite a few over the years. And yeah, these are so cool that I'm actually collecting these now. Definitely all going in the random figure review, for sure. Next, we got a Pokemon Mega Constructs Pikachu with a different face than the one I got. He's got the Nana, come and get me face. I love that. Definitely going to be reviewed. Next on the list, we got the Halo Mech Suit, which I've been wanting for a long time. The second one. I need to get the Brute one tracked down, but other than that, I got this one. So now I need to find one more to complete the set, and I'll be reviewing that with the random stuff. Next on the list, we got another anime figure for good old September. Before I go to the toy show, it's Goku! Everybody's favorite Saiyan. And yes, I got me a Goku for my Dragon Ball collection. That has a good look, and his clothing looks amazing. We'll be reviewing that in September. You know, October, I mean. Before November. So definitely looking forward to that. Next on the list, we got a Star Wars 1980s Kenner figure. I only paid 10 bucks for him at Rossi's Flea Market. And I love this figure. I have some more Kenner figures to add to my collection. And we have a couple bootleg Transformers. We got this Orca Whale. He'll go down in the other bin. I have to mix up the bootlegs and the official stuff to review them. Why not? Or dare I say, why not? Next on the list, we got trans another bootleg Transformer. And this is from Age of Extinction. It's none other than Snarl. You know what I mean? I don't know his proper name in the movie, but I call him Snarl, the Triceratops. But yeah, but yeah. he is called Dino Tech Warrior. Robot changes into dinosaur. They're bootleg transformers, so they're less than meets the eye. As the, what I say about them, they're less than meets the eye. Why not? And dare I say, why not? Of course, next on the list, we got Transformers Legacy. RC, man. Not RC, but Alita One. My favorite female Autobot. And then and she is the girlfriend of Optimus Prime. So I love having this figure in my collection. So now Optimus Prime's got his sweetheart to go on the shelf with good old Optimus Prime. Look forward to reviewing that and showing that to you. Other than that, that's most of everything. The last thing I have is my first ever custom Ghostbusters Firehouse. And this completes my Ghostbusters collection. And you know me, I love some Ghostbusters. And yes, this will be going on the shelf and being reviewed with my figures here on the channel. So stay tuned when I review that, which we're probably going to review that next figure review for sure. Next, we got a Pokemon Mega Constructs Pikachu with a different face than the one I got. He's got the Nana, come and get me face. I love that. Definitely going to be reviewed. Next on the list, we got the Halo Mech Suit which I've been wanting for a long time. The second one. I need to get the Brute one tracked down, but other than that, I got this one. So now I need to find one more to complete the set, and I'll be reviewing that with the random stuff. Next on the list, we got another anime figure for good old September. Before I go to the toy show, 
It's Goku, everybody's favorite Saiyan. And yes, I got me a Goku for my Dragon Ball collection that has a good look and his clothing looks amazing. We'll be reviewing that in September. You know, October, I mean, before November. So definitely looking forward to that. Next on the list, we got a Star Wars 19. 80s Kenner figure. I only paid 10 bucks for him at Rossi's Flea Market. And I love this figure. I have some more Kenner figures to add to my collection. And we have a couple bootleg Transformers. We got this Orca Whale. He'll go down in the other bin. I have to mix up the bootlegs and the official stuff to review them. Why not? Or dare I say, why not? Next on the list, we got trans another bootleg Transformer. This is from Age of Extinction. It's none other than Snarl. You know what I mean? I don't know his proper name in the movie, but I call him Snarl. The Triceratops. But yeah, but yeah. he is called Dino Tech Warrior. Robot changes into dinosaur. They're bootleg Transformers, so they're less than meets the eye, as the, what I say about them. They're less than meets the eye. Why not? And dare I say, why not? And of course, next on the list, we got Transformers Legacy. RC, man. Not RC, but Alita One. My favorite female Autobot. And then and she is the girlfriend of Optimus Prime. So I love having this figure in my collection. So now Optimus Prime's got his sweetheart to go on the shelf with good old Optimus Prime. Look forward to reviewing that and showing that to you. Other than that, that's most of everything. The last thing I have is my first ever custom Ghostbusters Firehouse, and this completes my Ghostbusters collection. And you know me, I love some Ghostbusters. And yes, this will be going on the shelf and being reviewed with my figures here on the channel. So stay tuned when I review that, which we're probably going to review that next, next week with that Sekirai Wars Xerxes doll. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, this is Eddie Hill's entire toy haul. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land. This is my, 